we're talking about a very specific section of Del Paso Boulevard, a business district, and a lot of uh, effort that's been put in to try to keep this economic engine going for this part of the city. However, we're hearing now from the now former chair of the Del Paso Partnership saying that it's not just crime and issues facing this boulevard that are causing him to step down, but a lack of city and police support for the area. Love the boulevard. Love the energy, all of it. Candace Brooks is committed to the future of Del Paso Boulevard, but as an owner of 1913 Lounge and Event Space and a board member of the Del Paso Partnership, she says keeping up enthusiasm is getting more challenging. And we're trying to do our part to bring the boulevard some life, but eventually that life continues to be sucked out or punched out of you. Like this morning when someone cut through her parking lot gate she says they stole a catalytic converter from the food truck that parks in her lot. She tells us that repeated burglaries, thefts, and vandalism are disheartening, but the police response, or lack thereof, feels defeating. It's go online, fill out the police report, or go into a police station and get a handle, and then you just move on. It's gotten so bad, the chair of the Del Paso Partnership announced today he is moving on permanently. The best thing I could do to raise some awareness of, of how inadequate the city of Sacramento's public safety services are is to visibly resign. The final straw for now former board chair Howie Ditkoff was Sunday morning when he says someone broke into his Evergreen Street business as well as the neighboring collision center. He says police didn't respond to 911 calls for about three hours. And the response time to business and property owners are, is inadequate. Dickhoff and Brooks feel that Del Paso Boulevard is overlooked and underserved by the city. So much so, Dickhoff says he feels that efforts by the Del Paso Partnership to strengthen and improve the area are useless. Why should I waste my time if the city of Sacramento is not going to do a better job of doing their job? And so we did reach out to the city and the police department, and they both gave us responses to uh, to hearing that this leader is going to be stepping down and the criticism of city services. So we'll start with the police department. Here's what they said in part. Our department utilizes a call priority system when responding to requests for police assistance, including alarm calls. Most of the time, our department receives more calls for service than officers are available to respond. Moreover, in recent weeks, we have increased our patrols and business districts along Del Paso Boulevard and our North problem oriented policing team is investing considerable time in working with our business community. Again, that was from the Sacramento Police Department. And here is a statement from a city spokesperson, um, Tim Swanson, saying that as far as uh, the city of Sacramento is concerned, as part of its ongoing commitment to local neighborhoods, the city has allocated $5 million of American Rescue Plan at Act funds to North Sacramento and currently is operating a $2 million grants program to help North Sacramento businesses improve their buildings and spur new investment. Reporting from Del Paso Boulevard, Parma Dickerson, Fox 40 News.